I'd like to start just by asking who is stressed here. Huh. Who is stressed? <laughs> raise, raise your hand Who's if you're stressed. Who's stressed? Who's stressed? Who's stressed? Who has some kind of stress? Stress? Yeah, stress. No one? That's it? Stress. Yeah. Uh, stress free this side. What? Do you have stress? Oh, raise yeah. your hand. Stress. stress. Would you like to reduce your stress? Yes? Yes. Would you like to learn 18 second stress reduction technique? Mm -hmm. yes. yes? Good. Um, would you like to learn how to feel your energy with hands? Yes, we raise your hand who wants. Yes, good, thank you. Would you like to learn how to heal yourself and loved ones? Yeah, who would like to learn? Good, good. <laughs> thank you. Lots of yeses, thank you, you're in the right place. So today, tonight, I'll be talking about those things. So we'll learn how to reduce stress, we'll learn how to feel the energy, and we'll talk about pranic healing and meditation. So, uh, my name is Anastasia. Oh, I didn't say it right. <laughs> Almost I'm right. Sorry. Anastasia is okay. Was yeah, that was really close. So, Anastasia, and if you're thinking, what did you say? It's exactly as you would say, ah, nice to see you. <laughs> 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 nice to see you too. <laughs> so agenda for today, we'll start with uh, stress reduction and then we'll do a meditation and then we'll do, pr uh, I'll talk about pranic healing and uh, we'll have questions and answers if you have any questions. So whoever has some kind of stress in their life right now, holidays are approaching, you have to buy a bunch of gifts figure out what you're going to do for Christmas and New Year. Uh, just give me some rating of your stress from zero to 10. So zero means no stress whatsoever. I'm stress free. Or 10 means this is like the worst uh, stressful day in my life and I have lots of stress. Just few numbers. Two. Two, okay, good, thank you. Five, five six, five. anybody else? Five. Nine. 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 <laughs> After organizing all this, right? <laughs> Well, we all did some work with pendulums, so dowsing definitely helps with stress reduction and healing. So, but we could go a, a step fr further and learn a technique that you could use when you're out and about and you have, you know, some anxious thoughts or some anxiety or stress, so we can use this. So I'll ask you to put your hands in, res um, in position, palms facing out, receiving position. And I'll guide you through the breathing exercise. Louder? Yes. I'll guide you through the breathing exercise. Can you hear me better? Yes? Good. So we'll inhale and exhale through the nose. <coughs> and please, I will try to do it quietly, no sound. So no ujjayi breathing, <laughs> just for this exercise. So you, may, you might want to close your eyes to reduce the amount of stimulation that comes to your brain. Exhale all the air, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold. Inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, and continue breathing when you're wrong. You don't want to open your eyes and you're ready. You can open your eyes. How do you feel? Anybody <coughs> who has five or six, do you feel the same stress level? Or is it lower? Give me some numbers. Assess your overall state. Three. Still two? Four. Still two. Mm -hmm. Three? Somebody said three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, was it three before? No, six. Good, good. So let's try to do it again. So you can actually lower down your hands. You don't have to hold them up. Just relax. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Close your eyes. Exhale all the stressed energy. <coughs> Hold. Inhale. Hold. 
Continue breathing on your own, keep your eyes closed, inhale, peace, energy, exhale, stress, energy, inhale, peace, exhale, stress, inhale, good healing energy, hold, exhale, all the stressed energy from your body. Continue breathing on your own. Be still, be aware. And whenever you are ready, you open your eyes. How do you feel? Rate your stress level from zero being none. One a little bit, 10. Four. Four. Anyone um, else? Three. Three. What, what it was before? Um, it was the six. Hmm? It was the six originally. Oh, okay, good, good. So you feel how your body even relaxes with the breathing. So this uh, breathing is called pranic breathing. And what we do, we inhale and we hold for three seconds. Exhale and then hold for three seconds. So those holds are very important. Important in uh, relaxing the body and receiving good prana, good energy. This will lower your blood pressure, by the way. Yes, yes, it has lots of benefits, like lowering the blood pressure, lowering the heart rate, which is, you know, all beneficial, um, making you less stressed. So when you're stressed, you're, you have this tunnel vision, right? I have to do this. Uh, everything else doesn't matter. But when you do this kind of breathing, it kind of opens you up to other possibilities. So it's good to be, you know, have less stress and being stress-free. Um, this technique takes six, 18 seconds. So six counts to inhale, three to hold, six to exhale, and three to hold. Mm -hmm. It's too fast. Sorry. <laughs> you know, everybody can adjust it for yourself. So mm -hmm. some people who've been doing some breathing practices could go slower, and that the you just do it how you feel for your body. Mm -hmm. If you feel that you have to go a little faster, then you do it. it the point is you don't, ha you don't have to be like, I need to take a breath in. That should be natural. So whatever is natural for you, you just go slower counts. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Hold for three. One, two, three. If this is too long, I don't want you to sit like, I really need to inhale, but I'm, I'm doing this practice for stress reduction. I cannot inhale anymore. <laughs> so please just adjust it to your breathing pattern. So would you like to feel even better and reduce your stress even more? I invite you to do a meditation. It's, it's called Meditation on Planetary Peace. And we all need peace, peace in our hearts, peace on Earth. So I invite you to practice this meditation. Before the meditation, it's beneficial to do a set of exercises. So I invite you to move. <laughs> Please stand up, we'll do a set of exercises and then we'll do meditation. And the uh, relaxation instructor and the pranic healer. So I'm doing a lot of pranic healing now and meditation on Twin Hearts. So we'll talk about meditation and pranic healing and the origins of that. So, um, Master Cho Kuk Sui, he is, is the founder of modern pranic healing. He, what he did, he studied different healing modalities and he compiled them together to create pranic healing, which is easy to learn. You don't have to travel to Himalayas now and spend years there. So it's easy to learn, it's fast and effective <coughs> uh, energy healing method. It's no touch, so it's all energy healing. You're not touching a person. Um, 
the meditation that we'll do today, it's called meditation on planetary peace, or it's called meditation on twin hearts. And I'll explain later on why it's, it's called meditation on twin hearts. So the meditation was designed by Master Chokoksu as well, and it's a cornerstone of pranic healing. So for us, it's a service that we do. We bless the earth, we bless the people. And as you give, as you do good, you shall receive. So as you're sending peace, you're receiving peace. As you're sending love, you're receiving love. It's a beautiful meditation. <coughs> Have anybody done this before? <coughs> people, very good. So for people who haven't done this, um, Master Cho Koksui will guide us in the audio and he has an accent, so if you, even if you don't hear something, that's okay. You're still receiving the benefit of this and you're still receiving the energy. So in the meditation, you'll be guided into opening your heart, your physical heart. So you'll be asked to think about a happy moment, about good thought. And once your physical heart is open, this is the heart that we uh, that we have for our human love, so you love to people. So only once this is open, then your divine heart could be open, which is your crown chakra. So then the second time you'll think about positive thought, Master Cho will, will tell you to focus on your crown center, on your um, crown chakra. And then once both of those are open, then the divine energy will go through you and you'll be blessing with this divine energy, you'll be blessing the people, that are suffering, you'll be blessing the places on earth that are suffering. It's a beautiful meditation. Um, so we will start like this, but then when Master Cho will say, now put your hands into blessing position, then we'll put our hands like this, and we'll imagine on earth. Everybody gonna imagine their own. And we're gonna send blessings, some good healing energy to the earth. So we'll just listen along and follow the instructions. Then at some point, uh, Master Cho Koksui will be chanting Oms. We remain silent during that period. We chant, we chant quietly in our heads. And we focus on the intervals between the Oms. After that, there's gonna be a period of silence. And we just sit and meditate. And then we'll bless, uh, bless out the excess energy. And after that, I'll guide you into blessing your family, your loved ones, any project that you uh, want to finish <coughs> or you're starting. So uh, this is important when Master Cho is guiding you to bless people who are suffering. It's important to think about this in general. So don't, if somebody comes to mind, just leave that person till the end because in a group meditation, there is a lot of energy and if you're gonna direct this to one person, that's just gonna be too much, we don't want to do it. So we just bless people in general, a number of people. And then if you know somebody who needs blessings, then at the end, I'll guide you through blessings for people that you know, and that's when we bless that. Any questions before we start? No, all good? center of your palm and take the right finger and press it in the center of the palm. Hold and let go. So now gently gaze at the center and become aware of that point. And we'll do pranic breathing. Inhale, hold, exhale. Become aware of the center of your hand. Inhale, hold, exhale. Inhale, hold, exhale. Now press in your other hand. Same thing, other hand. Press in the center, let go, and look at that point. Gently gaze. 
Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Now put your hands this way, four inches apart. You'll be looking between your hands, just gently. <coughs> mm -hmm. Become aware of those two points that you pressed in the hand. Just become aware. Continue breathing. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Open your um, elbows, elbows to the side, open your armpits. Sit. Inhale. Continue breathing, and this time you're going to open your hands a little wider, like a cordon. Inhale, hold. Exhale, try to bring them closer. See if you feel anything with your hands. Notice. Inhale, open your hands wider. Try to bring them in. Exhale, do you feel anything? If you do not, not if you feel anything between your hands any sensation. Inhale, open, hold, exhale, try to bring your hands together again, not if you feel anything. Inhale, and hold, exhale. Okay, okay just uh, I'm just going to ask if, you, if anybody was able to feel yes, raise your hand, yeah would you like to feel more? yes, <laughs> yes, let us do it isn't it cool? So, what do you feel? anyone? Like a resistance. Like a resistance. A resistance yeah, like a wall like the energy yeah. that you're creating right yeah. now the energy between your hands and the <laughs> field, anybody else? Um, mm, some people feel like warmth or tingling tingling tingling, yeah Pressure. Mm -hmm. You can bounce it back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's try again. Have your hands uh, four inches apart. Inhale, hold, breathe out, hold. Inhale, hold, open your armpits, breathe out, hold. Right hand only, you're going to make small circles and become aware of the sensation in your left hand. You can feel that? Nod it, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes? What do you feel? Pressure. Energy? Pressure. Yes. Very good. Now right hand stays still, left hand circles. Any direction. Yes? That's okay, maybe one hand is more sensitive than the other, it's oh, okay. okay. Yeah? No, I'm just curious. Mm -hmm. So, in mm -hmm. Prani, would you like to share? Is it possible that one side stands more easily than the other side? Stands, you mean? I mean, like, uh, I was taught by some that the energy comes in on the left side and goes out on the right. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, um, what we've been praying healing as well. We have a receiving hand that you receive the energy with that hand and the projecting hand that sends out the energy. So it might be, but usually you can train both of them to be sensitive. It does not have to be the case. Uh, and it's, you know, we have different organs on one side of the body compared to internal organs, right? We have liver on one side, spleen on the other. So your side is a little different and that's okay <coughs> if you feel more on one side than on the other. You felt on both, right? 
You felt on both mm -hmm. sides, yes. I felt on both, but yeah. yeah, when I think we did the left hand first, was mm -hmm. that correct? Yeah, yeah, and it was more stronger. I, I, I could feel it was almost like a massaging type of sensation. Oh, on there. Yes. It was really weird. And then I didn't get that same feeling from the right. It was mm -hmm. almost like it's there, but it was so subtle. I mean, mm -hmm. really subtle. Okay. Mm -hmm. But with, with practice, you can train your hands to be more sensitive. So in pranic healing, we use our hands a lot to heal and, um, uh, and to scan. So we are able to scan for the congested energy in the organ or in the chakra. So you sensitize your hands and then you, you learn how to scan uh, for congestion or for depletion. If there is not enough energy, you can scan for that and uh, also to scan for the size of the chakra. So you can scan if this chakra is um, overactive, if it's too big, or if it's not active enough, something is happening with the chakra and it's too small and it needs some warmth on it. So we use our hands to detect those things and then uh, to heal uh, with the hands as well. So I'd like, I do you have any questions about, yes, go ahead. Do you ever break it up smaller? and feel something with yes. the finger yes. or part yes. of the finger. Thank you for asking this. So we do have minor chakras on uh, uh, fingers, on every fingertip we have chakras. And uh, for certain things, we, well, you can sensitize them as well. And then for certain things that you want to scan, you can use your minor chakras and feel, um, feel for congestion uh, if the organ is smaller or if you want to be more precise because the hand is so much bigger. So I'd just like to share um, how I got into pranic healing. I used to do a different healing modality and I met a friend who is my colleague now, my pranic, free, uh, pranic healing friend. And um, she told me that, you know, in pranic healing, you can scan with your hands and uh, figure out if the organ is congested, if the chakra is congested. And I said, do, do they teach this on the first lesson, on the first class? And she said, yes. I was like, oh, that would be so useful. So for my healing, I could use this. I could scan and know, oh, this needs work, or this organ needs work. Um, and then I, d I decided to go and take a course. And uh, I was hooked since then. I <laughs> continue to take courses. Where are the courses? Where are the courses? So the courses we, we do the courses in Atlanta Pranic Healing Center. So you can come and learn pranic healing. And this is something that you learn and use all your life. So um, the basic pranic healing course is kind of like a doorway to other courses. So I'll just show you the courses that we have on the board. So pranic healing is an energy modality that um, not only has energy, uh, the healing arm, but it also has a spiritual arm. So it's a spiritual part. Mm -hmm. So basic pranic healing course, this is the course that is uh, a basic level that you can take and continue on healing and go into healing arms. So develop your healing. Uh, to more advanced pranic healers and uh, do other stuff like psychotherapy and crystal and I can talk more about those courses and we also have a spiritual arm and this is um, a spiritual path so you take a course uh, achieving oneness with the higher soul and you learn how you're connected with the higher soul and you learn a special meditation that you can do to get connected with the higher soul and receive information like why are we here what is the purpose of this uh, what is the purpose of your life so and we also have our haric yoga this is a spiritual path um, it's called yoga uh, not because we do <laughs> sound salutations but it's called yoga because um, it's a connection that you develop with the higher soul and with uh, with divine, with God. So um, in Arhatic Yoga, you get special exercise that is your practice. So you have breathing exercise, purifications, and, uh, others, um, and other meditations that you're supposed to follow. And uh, that was developed specifically by Master Chokuk Sui to help people with achieving illumination. 
Um, it's, uh, I think pranic healing is the only modality that offers healing arm and spiritual arm. So sometimes people are more interested in the spiritual aspect. So they do a healing course, but they go on into more meditating and developing spiritually. Other people want to heal and they just take um, basic course and continue this uh, healing. Um, I'd like to share a story. I'm going to leave this here. I'd like to share a story when I just took my basic course. Would this stay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> um, when you take basic course, you, um, you get this book. Um, it's called Miracles Through Pranic Healing. And it's like a cookbook of uh, how to <coughs> heal different conditions. <coughs> so when I took my course, I was really excited and I was carrying this <coughs> everywhere. I took, on, I, I took it on vacation, I would go travel with it because I was so eager to try it on everybody. So if anything came up, I was like, would you like a healing? I'll find a protocol. So it's full of protocols that <coughs> Master Cho des designed and tested out on himself and others. So it's all tested out and um, um, you have, let's say you have, uh, or somebody has an earache. So you go to the page where it says earache and you just heal based on that. It tells you exactly on which chakras to work, what to do. So the techniques you learn in the course, but this is just the protocols. And we actually encourage people not to <coughs> memorize, but have this as a reference or like a, as a guiding point. So um, I remember when I used to heal, I always would have it near me so then you can double check if you're doing it right. And um, so my story is that my mom, she was experiencing pain on her <coughs> left side of the abdomen. And uh, she lives in Canada. So she went to a physician. Uh, they did a bunch of tests and they didn't find anything. Then she went to a homeopathic doctor and they give her some remedies. She was taking the remedies and the pain still stayed. And um, then she went to Chinese medicine um, doctor and they gave her some herbs. She was making teas and she followed all the directions what needed to be done, but the pain still stayed. So she came over uh, to visit us in the United States and she was very worried that there is something in her body and her body lets her know this pain that something is happening and uh, nothing seems to help and no one knows what it is. So I was like, well, can I try pranic healing? And uh, my mom was very receptive. She said, sure. So I did a healing session on her. And next morning she woke up and she had no pain. The pain was gone. The next morning she had no pain. The day after, a week after she had no pain. It just <coughs> disappeared completely. So uh, I was so amazed with this story. I was like, wow, this really works. So <laughs> I continued to take <coughs> courses and learn more about um, different healing techniques. And uh, I'm excited to share that my mom is taking a course this weekend. She's in Canada. <laughs> it's such a big thing for me. I was so amazed that she is inspired as well. So I was very inspired and um, uh, I wanted to bring this to people to share this wonderful technique. So I signed up uh, to become a pranic healing instructor. So I'm in a program uh, where I'm trained to become an instructor. So I'm sharing this pranic healing method with everyone. And uh, I'd like to share a, a little bit about the courses that we offer. There are books there on display that you can take a look at. So as I said, basic pranic healing is like a doorway into this system. And then you can take advanced pranic healing and that teaches you how to use different colored prana for different things. So with beginner course, you just use white prana for everything. With advanced, uh, you need to, you're getting training in how to use colors and your healing becomes more effective. Uh, you can go deeper and more heal more effectively. Then we have psychotherapy. And psychotherapy is an amazing course that deals with depression, anxiety, addictions. So we're uh, approaching all those issues from the point of energy. And we also have crystal course. So the crystal healing, that was actually 
got me very interested in pranic healing. When I saw that, I was like, this is what I want to do. Crystal healing. So we have, um, I'll show you a picture. I don't have my crystal with me because it's being cleansed at home, but basically we heal with a crystal wand. And we have other little crystal helpers that help out in the healing. And it's very powerful. And uh, um, you experience faster healing with crystal. Perhaps an actual healing might take, a long protocol might take an hour. With crystal you can do it in 30 minutes maybe even faster, and it's getting great results. Um, so you can do more healings uh, with the same technique with using crystal. And we also have psychic self-defense. And this is for people who are empathic, or uh, this is for everyone, everyone. Um, this is how to strengthen your aura, how to protect yourself from negative thoughts, how to stay calm, in a group of people who are all stressed out. So we're talking about how to build, to build shields, how to disconnect from certain things, how to cut cords if you're sensing that people are connecting to you, and stuff like this. So uh, if you have any questions, you can talk to me. Yeah, go ahead. And you continue using remote healing on your mom? Yes, for that particular issue, no. Yeah, so my, I, in pranic healing, we do remote healing. Thank you so much. And the best part, you can learn it on the first basic pranic course. So I know um, with other healing modalities, they kind of wait. That's how it was for me, I had to wait. But with pranic healing, they teach you on the first course how to work remotely. And I work remotely on a lot of people. It's amazing how it works. I have a friend who is a physicist. And she says that from the physics perspective, this is pure science. It, that's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> and there is no miracles in that. <laughs> physics explains this. I'm not a physicist, so I don't, I don't know how she sees it in physics, but she sees a scientific proof that it does work remotely. It's the same as in person. And yes, I do uh, a lot of remote healings on my mom and other clients. And this is amazing, we don't even have to go to them, they don't have to go anywhere, you can just do it in the evening. And I heal my children as well, they are in a different room, I don't have to come in, I have to come <laughs> my healings. I'm in my healing spot, right? <laughs> They're in their bed. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed, you'll receive healing. <laughs> yeah. Any questions? We have a previous member, Marie Daly, mm -hmm. and she has had an she had pain in her breast and she had surgery mm -hmm. just recently. And I was wondering if we could, as a group, send her something. Mm -hmm. The healing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what? That, that would be a good idea. The only thing is you need some kind of training before you start. Um, so this is not something that I can teach you in one evening. So the course is pretty long. It's. Um, I'm just saying that this won't happen today. We could probably do this uh, as a group, and group healings are very powerful. So um, the courses, the courses are usually on Saturdays and Sundays, and we have a course coming up um, on the last weekend and the weekend one before last weekend. So 22nd and 23rd. Let me just double check. It's on. Uh, 22nd and 23rd of this month of December and 29th and 30th. Uh, Judy Yi, I don't know if any if people met Judy Yi, she's doing the course and I'll be co-teaching. Yeah. So if you'd like to she sign up, that would be wonderful. You could come and learn those techniques and then we could, as a group, uh, do a group healing and uh, I'm sure I'm sure it would have the benefits. So, so each course is only like two or three weeks, two or three sessions? The, cor the basic course is two days. Oh. Um, All day? So nine to seven on Saturday, and nine to three or nine to five, depending how the group goes, on Sunday. Yes, and then you can start healing. When you did that first <coughs> session for your mother, mm -hmm. what, what did you look up in the book and focus on? What did you think it was? Because all you knew was the energy. Yeah, so that's uh, another thing. We do have protocols, but sometimes that was like unexplained uh, pain. So um, 
The, uh, this is a very good question. Thank you for asking. Um, Master Cho created this, um, not created, he, um, ev everybody heard about chakras, right? Mm -hmm. So in uh, Master Cho book, the chakras that he's focusing for healing are 11, the system of 11 chakras. And I'm just gonna show you a picture. It's in the book. Yeah, so it's a little different from the one that we see every day um, in yoga. It just has a few extra, but it just does not imply that this is wrong, that the other one is right, or that one is right. It's just those are the chakras that we need for healing. So, um, it's everything I've seen. Um, yeah, so the, it has a spleen chakra, and that's the one that I heal. And I cleanse that area, so it happens to be the spleen chakra. And the spleen chakra, that's where you get your energy, your prana. So mm -hmm. it just was congested, wasn't working right, and uh, energetically probably did not manifest it physically yet into the body. That's why the test that they did did not show anything. But would she wait, that probably would manifest into something. So that particular disease or disorder was removed energetically before it manifested in the body. Any other questions? Okay, so um, you have basic, advanced, mm -hmm. and those, do you have to take them in that order, or do you just have to like do the basic first, and then you could do crystal or whatever, is there an order? That you have to yeah, thank you so much for asking this. So first of all, you have to take basic, and then um, you could take advanced or psychotherapy in any order you'd like. So uh, I think advanced is level two, psychotherapy level three, so you can do either or, uh, but for crystal you need both of them. So for crystal, because the techniques that are taught in the advanced and in the psychotherapy, that's what we use in the crystal. So then you can go back with the crystal and heal psychotherapy, and that's gonna be so much more effective and so much more faster, so you'll be just more efficient. You can do more healings. and. Uh, uh, I think you can take psychic self-defense right mm -hmm. after basic. Yeah. yeah, and achieving oneness as well, right? Yeah, and yeah. Oh no, I just, you might have been going there, but do <coughs> is the healing on the spiritual arm can be separated? Yeah, like, you don't have to do this if you don't if no, you I don't mean. feel like this is uh, right now for you. You don't have to, so you can just focus on the healing arms. Uh, no, on the I'm healing I'm arm, I'm or if you want to do just the spiritual yeah, arm, yeah, you, you can well. just take. A, well, you still need to take basic course, and then you would take achieving one, achieving oneness, and you. Oh, for our Harik yoga, though, you need to take. Sorry. Yeah, you if you need took. To take the horses. Yeah. All of those. I, I don't think. think I think. Do, um, I think you need self defense for. I think it's yoga. three of them. Yeah. So I think what for Harik yoga, I think they I think changed you need it. Basic, advanced. And psychotherapy. and psychotherapy. Yeah, I think you, you need the other ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Arhadic Yoga is a, it's a very good practice designed by Master Chok of Sui. It's a combination of different um, compilations of different yogas. So uh, there is some breathing, there are some exercises, there are meditations, there are mantras, and all of this combined in a special regimen that if you follow, you'll develop spiritually. So he has a special schedule that you follow every day. You do certain purifications, you do uh, meditations. You and the best part, I really, really like that. You also give us a, given a schedule on uh, virtues. So uh, they really want people to grow. So they recommend to focus on one virtue for three months. And as you focus on that virtue, you grow spiritually. So it gives you, it kind of anchors you into the right, the right places. It it's just amazing, amazing um, um, pass and ama amazing schedule that he created. Any other question? Yeah. Um, you started off with the breathing exercise before meditation, or did you At start the beginning of the meeting. Yes. Um, does your system explain? why that works? Well, I used to learn physiology in school, so yeah. <laughs> I, I have my explanation physiological. Um, if you're interested or you'd, you'd like to share something. 
Yeah, I'd like to share something. Yes, all right, go ahead. It's, uh, there's a deeper wisdom behind mm -hmm. it. <clears throat> and it's from a, a person called Tote, mm -hmm. T-H-O-T-H. And what he has to say about breathing, and it explains why this works, it's flying seed number 70, existence within breath. Now, those three words say a lot right there. The map of creation is found within breath. Voyage of existence is inherent in the breath. Motion of the physical plane is anchored in the breath. Impulses of creation are expressed in breath. Breath is of existence. Existence is of breath. That's why it works. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And this is a um, very special book, The Existence of God is Self-Evident. It has amazing energy in it, so people carry it with themselves as a form of protection. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful book um, where Master Cho just talks about the existence of God and existence of higher wisdom. So yeah, they have those for sale. And then uh, Meditation on Twin Hearts, uh, or Planetary Meditation on Peace, and the Sound of Om. And this is really good to cleanse your space. I was playing it before the uh, before the workshop, well, before the meeting, I played it a little bit, and it helps to cleanse and clear uh, any negative energies if there is anything in the room. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.